Hi, I'm Councillor Trish Hardy and this is Councillor John Kelly and we're both councillors for Little and Ward and we're really delighted today to be in Rufford Road to look at the amazing job the community have done in partnership with Sefton Council in terms of turning what was an ugly alleyway filled with rubbish into a wonderful community space where residents in Lidlands have found that the lockdown year has not just been a year of heartache but a year when they've actually been able to make some fantastic neighbourhood friends. I we originally started a Facebook group at the beginning of lockdown and it was with regards to just keeping an eye on each other and doing little errands for each other and then working from home during lockdown just made me realise how small the space we've got outside particularly because the weather's been so good and then there's just this amount of space outside that was going to waste I'd seen all the community gardens that have been set up in other areas of Liverpool like Wavy Tree and I thought it would just be a great idea for us to do the same I think the biggest challenge was originally when we first started coming out and all, all the cobbles were full of weeds and even though you were doing a couple of hours worth of work it wasn't really making much of a difference, it was like a bit, you know, a big job but then um, once more and more people got involved and the more and more the, the cobbles was getting cleared and you could see what you'd achieved it just inspired us to carry on going. Um. Well, my neighbour Jenny uh, put her a post on a Facebook group to say, wouldn't it be good if we reclaim the alley? And then one by one, the rest of the residents of the street have kind of joined in with it. Uh, I just think it's brilliant. I'm just amazed that we've managed to be able to do that and everybody's on board with it, really. I think at the beginning it was just a couple of us and then we were uh, put some flyers out to the residents and knocked on doors and one by one, I think the majority of the street have, have, uh, are on board with it now and you see something new appear in the alley every day really. We have uh, a nightly swing ball challenge, um, we play Connect Four, Frustration Uno, the kids have had a, a puppet show. Uh, we have a chimney here, so we do safety first on the uh, toasted marshmallows and homemade s'mores. So when we started this, the alleyway was full of fly tipping. We had couches, um, movers, washing machines, everything. And in less than two months, we've managed to keep it all clean. It's a lovely safe space for the children to play and they love playing out here. It's brilliant for water fights and everything. And it's, it's just, you know, it keeps the alleyway clean. And you can even enjoy the space in your own yard knowing that this part of the outside here is clean too.